Rain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. In this episode of Rain Access Solutions, I'm going to show you how to set up a dash cam called Button Boson. Last time I already created an unboxing video of this. I'm going to put the link down below the description box. Since this is only a tutorial for setting up the dash cam, so I'm just going to connect this wire directly to a DC power supply and I have a long way DC power supply that I use for fixing mobile phones or laptop. Here are the wires that we need to connect. We only need to use the, um, the black wire which is the ground wire and the yellow wire which is the wire for the power or the positive 12 volt from a DC power supply there. So we're just going to ignore the red wire and this is the um, USB type C connector that we will be using to connect to the dash cam. Okay, this is the long way um, DC power supply that I bought from China years years ago. This type of DC power supply has a um, dynamic um, voltage output in which you can change the output from 1 volt up to 32 volt. And you can also increase the amperage up to you know, I, I'm not sure if it's 5 amperes. But yeah, this is the power supply that we're going to use for testing or setting up this um, dash cam. So I'm setting this, the voltage output to 12 volt because that is, that is the output of most car batteries. And I'm using this type of cable to serve as the bridge from between the power supply and the cable or the wires of the dash cam. As you can see from here, I connected the black wire of the dash cam to the negative port of the DC power supply and the yellow wire from the dash cam to the red port or the positive um, part of the DC power supply. Now, once we connect the USB Type-C connector, this will power on automatically. And there you will see that this is the first time that this um, dash cam has um, switched on. Now I'm going to attach a micro SD that came with this product. This is a 512 high um, quality and high capacity micro SD. But despite being a 512 gigabyte micro SD, it can only record continuous footage from this dash cam for up to 2 days or 50 hours. Just press the OK button to initialize the micro SD or to format it so that the dash cam can use it as its storage media. So now that it is ready, it should record um, both the front facing camera and the one that is facing towards me. So there are two cameras in this button boson dash cam. The one facing outward, which is in front of the car, has a 4K quality or video quality. And this camera that I'm covering with a piece of paper only have or only has a um, 1K video quality. 
in order for us to view the footages from this dash cam without having to remove the SD card and you know use a an SD card reader I'm going to download the app that will let us connect to the um, dash cam and let the app that let that application to communicate with the dash cam to make our lives easier here in the manual there is a QR code that you can scan to download or go to the site where you can download the um, application but for some reason this phone that I'm using isn't reading the QR code properly so I'm going to install the um, the app manually by searching it in the Play Store the name of the app is Vidur with double i after the v so we're just going to install it first it may take a while because the size of that app is 113 megabytes now while we're waiting for it to download and install we're going to set up some settings in this dash cam now press that menu button or the ok button it will bring out this um, gear icon on the far left which is the enter button also we're going to find um, this setting here there okay here this will let you um, change the language from Chinese to other um, language and this time we're changing it to English so to navigate to different settings you can press both or any of the buttons in the middle that is for the left and right or up and down um, to choose from the menu now we're going to switch the Wi-Fi on in this device there that is the standard Wi-Fi SSID and the default password which later you can change into your own liking so we're gonna just switch it on so that our phone can connect to it now let's open the feature app that we just downloaded and installed so just follow the prompt in this application to initialize it now you will need to switch on your phone's um, Wi-Fi adapter so that you, it can see the SSID Pro being provided by this device and that is the PV32Y that you are seeing on the screen select that and enter the default password that's the PV32Y okay the default password for Button boss on dash cam is one two three four five six seven eight. If you're unsure and you would like to check, just access the Wi-Fi settings in that device and enter it to the phone. This should let you connect um, this phone to that dash cam. So once you are connected, you can now add this device to the app. Just go back to the main menu of this app once it's connected by pressing the back button. And your phone will ask you to switch network 
because there will be no internet being provided with the in the um, Wi-Fi coming from this device so just ignore it and you know follow these instructions and add that camera so once it's added it's just going to now prompt you to change your default Wi-Fi password so you can enter any password of um, your choice so for this tutorial I'm just going to write this um, short password okay the password has a uh, minimum um, length which is eight characters so we may have to we will have to increase our password length to meet the requirements okay now that we have changed the password we will need to reconnect to this um, device Wi-Fi to access it again since we have already changed the password we will be put out by the Wi-Fi now we will need to reconnect using the new password that we have just um, entered so there we are connected again now we will need to reconnect the app to the camera so there now it's feeding live view to our um, phone's app and we are seeing the live footage from that now we're going to change the SSID or the Wi-Fi name of this device um, I would like to recommend that you change the device name um, to the model of your car plus its um, plate number if you have a fleet of cars um, it's easier to identify which cars are you going to connect to but if you only have one car then you can just name its um, SSID to any name that you would like to use so now that we change the SSID we will need to reconnect again to that new Wi-Fi name so that's the new Wi-Fi name that's a, the test come with the password that we just um, fed to it again this is now connected to the camera it's time to do something with it notice that I tapped on that folder icon to access the saved footages on the device so now I'm going to try and download one sample from it this one second recording of this drawing or um, this math so click download and it will download the file now this video has three options of recording footages um, the length of each um, footage can be can vary from one minute two minute and three minute so I'm going to set this to three minute so that I will have a longer footage okay this is the sample footage that I downloaded um, to this phone this is from the recording when we went to the other branch of this company that I'm working with and you can be the judge whether this footage is good or not and this is what it uh, it looks like when it's 
recording from the inside which only has a 1K camera resolution. The front facing camera which takes the footage of the road ahead is 4K. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel, like and share, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.